Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. That last part, I was kind of iffy with. I mean, I was, I felt so disorganized because of those moon shards. It was just embarrassing. And I ended up leaving a whole bunch of stuff for later, thinking that I would be all moon shardy, like all in one run. But then I ended up leaving a whole bunch of stuff too later and I never actually got to it in the last part so now I've got to go back around and clean stuff up this part and we're gonna start with this over here and it's so weird that these guys cannot go up or down on their own isn't it isn't it I mean it's like how, how do they how do they live together in harmony and stuff like that like how do they gather in groups like is there like only like a high highland Typhoon, lowland typhoon, midland typhoon, I should say mid air typhoon, etc., etc., etc. Who knows? But all I know is you gotta grab the ones at the heights that they are, well, well, at. <laughs> Whatever they are born at, I guess. Island in the sky, yeah, this is back at the Cascade Kingdom. And yep, 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 we've come back here and we're leaving. <laughs> it's, you know, it's the more stuff to collect later, but eh, I just saw it. Mm, eh, I mentioned the painting. I might as well just do every painting I see <laughs> rather than try and coral gate them all when I do the respected worlds in full or whatnot. But anyway, so there was that hat door over there. Uh, that was the. Wait, was I in this one, or was this... I think this was the other penguin door. Yes, it was! This is the Koopa walking section. So they, this guy's like, Hey, dude, you up for a challenge? Everyone loves walking, right? Problem is, most don't take it seriously. That's what trace walking is all about. If you can walk like a champ, you'll win a prize. Wanna try? No. Uh, that's cool. Let me know when you get serious. Alright, let's take our walking extremely seriously and give it a try. So basically we're supposed to trace a line that we'll see at the beginning, but I do believe that line will disappear pretty quickly. The rules are cake. Just walk around and follow the arrows on the ground. Here's the fun part though. The arrows disappear after a bit. So try and point out landmarks before this starts in your own mind so that you can stop and go when you reach those parts and then, you know, go back in the direction that you came from or whatnot, wherever. You gotta score 80 points or more to win. Let's go! So here we go. Obviously, you wanna do this... Oh, jeez, that's not good. You wanna do this relatively smoothly. It's ice after all. And, oh, that's not good at all! <laughs> I was off track by a pretty good amount on that last line. 80 points, what I get? Wow, really? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I could have gotten a little bit better, but I'll take it. It's just what I needed. I guess I chased enough of the arrows, or close enough to the arrows, I got enough points. I'm not even sure how they determine the points. I mean, yeah, it's obviously by accuracy, but I don't know how far you can go away from the arrows for accuracy. Eh, you know what? For, for the fun of it, what if I do this again? Can I get a... Higher I, I presume I can get a higher score than that. That was... Yeah, so I'm gonna use a little rock as an indicator. And stop here, go back down a little steeper angle than I did before. Oh, that's much better! Holy poop! I got... what I get? what I get? 98! <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a win for sure. <laughs> Um, not right now. I, I, I'll leave that for someone else. I don't think I'll be able to beat that anytime soon. But <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's taken care of. Now there was a note along the barrier. Remember that note challenge thingy that I got? Eh, somewhere around the perimeter. Well, I'm gonna go around the perimeter anyway and look for stuff that I missed because, as I said, I ended up missing a whole bunch of stuff just because I thought I would focus on those dang moon shards. <laughs> and yeah. Alright, so one of the things over here, over by Rabbit Town, sound like four purple coins. And there's also 
more purple count, <clears throat> more purple coins over by that note. So that's why I wanted to find that note, if at all possible. And I'm probably getting to it. I need another. I need. A, I know I need another uh, Typhoo over here, but that's uh, that's whenever I can get to that one in the middle. I'm kind of working from the outside in. So yeah. Uh, I know, I'm getting chilly, I'm getting chilly, frosted over. We're okay though. Mario defrosts pretty quickly. Uh, and not around here, and I was definitely towards the upper area. Oh, there's the note, but just kind of looking around for stuff that I may or may not have missed, you know, you know, you know, yeah. <laughs> so why I wanted to come back over here was because on the last section of notes, there's a wall that I had to break open, but I did not break open. Uh-huh, it's Captain Toad. <laughs> it was so cool, I had to find some shelter. But I got buried in snow. <laughs> Ugly, I found the power moon in there. Enjoy! So I guess it wasn't purple coins I thought of in here. It was Captain Toad is chilly. <laughs> I guess the purple coins that I thought of were behind those uh, uh, ice sculpture things or ice spire things. Uh, anyway, I gotta go and get that Typhoon in the middle really quick. Hold on a sec. It was the one that was guarding over that uh, one ice block. Oh, yeah, this one right here. Can I get him from down here so I don't get blown off? Oh, oh. Well, maybe I could have, but I just kind of screwed myself over there. <laughs> ah, come on, PK Gam. One, two. PK Gam, please. Focus! <laughs> One, two, hat jump across. There we go. Now! Now! Okay. <laughs> now I need this to go underneath the Odyssey place behind here, was it? Everything looks so similar. Because <laughs> of the ice. Okay, yeah, that, that's the place. So I'm gonna go here. Yeah, we're gonna blow this around. Sure enough, it's a hat door. So let's go in there. And challenge. It's a puzzle. You might wanna. Well, you you may. I was gonna say you might wanna check your blocks before you blow them around, but you're ruining things, man. <laughs> so what we gotta do is get the red red based one over there and the green based one on top of it. It's actually fairly simple. You just kind of go and ring around the rosy with these pieces because there's all these. Whoops! I didn't mean to hit that one over there, but because there's all these like little bumps. And what you gotta do is just move the piece into said bumps to get the pieces to where you need them to be. And thus, ring around the rosy, because you just move them in circles. And it, it's a little bit on the tedious side, but... Eh, eh. Oh, oh, I got a double move there, that was nice. <laughs> then you move this last one over there, it falls into place, and then you can use them to get up to the moon. Well, I mean, I guess you could have used just used the red one to get up there, probably with some fancy triple jumps or something, but the, the, the cage was already locked anyway, so it was kind of kind of a lost cause unless you got them both in there. <laughs> anyway, uh, wait, can I actually, can I get up on top? Maybe I can, I don't know. <laughs> I, I never know how you can get on top of something in Mario Odyssey. It, it always seems like there's a possibility to be able to. Um, I guess I'll take another lapsy around here. Uh, I don't really think there is much more to go here, other than inside, back over um, at the racing area, along with a... Uh, um, well, not, not, wait, not so much a racing area, so much as it is the place before the racing area. As there's like a whole upper portion to it and the like and stuff like that, so yeah. Eh, I'm just gonna take a swimmy around here though. See how things are going. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think we're pretty good there, actually. At least for now. I'm gonna look back at the footage like I've been doing with the last couple of parts and just hitting my head against the desk as I'm editing, saying, How did I miss that? <laughs> that's how I've been feeling. But I guess it's just because there's so much stuff in the areas that it's just... Yes, I am back. It's just that there's so much stuff in the areas, it's very, very easy to actually miss stuff. Uh, when you're focused on one thing and you go to another and yeah. 
What is that, race uniform? The only uniform that counts. Nothing but undies. Hey, mustache man, do you have to get to brave the cold weather wearing just undies? I'm guessing no. Oh, I've got the grit. In fact, I do this all the time in my spare time. So, oh, no, no. How did I talk to the shopkeep from there? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, well, I guess I can leave, leave my hat on or put on whatever I want, but let's put on something fitting for the occasion. Well, I guess, like, well, I don't know, maybe I'll just, I don't have the full captain's garb anyway, so maybe I'll go with that and then combine it with the boxer shorts to be extra chilly. Yeah, it's good for the swelling joints and stuff like that, just get your body all nice and cool and then you talk back to him and he's like what, what's a racing you know same dialogue wow only a serious tough guy would brave this cold and nothing but undies you're a real beast please take this and we get a moon <laughs> i'm not cool no no i'm not <laughs> well i might as well might as well keep this Keep this garb on here for the sake of our training, after all. So you should probably just take a look-see around here, no matter how chill it is, and go up to the upper area. Uh, so upper area, you can get up, oh, just like this, I was holding down because I was pressing down to grab onto the pole via the camera. But check it out, a whole upper layer of poop! What the poop? You cannot enter unless... You are properly dressed for extreme cold weather, like with fluffy hood and warm boots. Mustache man, you don't look dressed for snow. You must be confused. Ah, poopers. So it looks like I've got to change again. <laughs> uh, okay, so what you're actually supposed to do with that one is spend your purple coins, get your winter garb, and... I just stood on the... <laughs> I talked to him like one click late. Yeah, sure. Snow hood. Change that now. Sure. Sadly, sadly, the nipples are only freed for a short amount of time. <laughs> and now Mario is fit for the occasion. He will no longer act all chilly when you're outside in the cold standing still. Just watch. Yeah! Now we're ready. <laughs> Don't worry, I will buy the rest of the stuff when I finish off the purple coins this part. Hopefully I'll finish off the purple coins this part. <laughs> I thought I was gonna do it so at the Lost Kingdom. But that kinda... That kinda messed me up with that one block. You cannot enter unless... Oh, you are properly dressed for extreme cold weather, like with fluffy hood and warm boots. You look ready for the snow. Glad you know what you're doing. Go on in. <laughs> I tire of standing here, carting this door. Well, why do you stand here? The door is locked anywhere. You just... You just stand next to people down below, have a chat, and wait for them to come by. If they want to go in the upper area, you can just be like, Yeah, you're dressed for the occasion. If not, well, if not, just leave a note on the door or something like that. Just tell them, talk to this guy. So, anyway, moon shards are on here. Be sure to follow the flow of the spiny. I think I'd actually do, like, little ducking slides underneath this if I really wanted to. I should try that really quick here. Like, just go with the flow of the spinies, and then just go, yeah, yes I can, but, uh, uh oh Oh! <laughs> and the mash should jump button to get out of that, but, eh, details. So you got the spinies, oh, doing a merry-go-round here. Not that big of a deal or anything like that, but might might have to pff, might have to take care of them eventually for uh, yeah for moon shards along these parts here. Eee, it's gonna get me! It's gonna get me! Ooh! Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'll just leave that shell to go do its thing around the perimeter, just to kind of replace the spinies as our floor obstacle for the fun of it. Get this last moon shard and. Grab the moon that appears back over there, but look directly above us. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. I can go behind that. Run across here. Hold the run button to do those sorts of things. I didn't teach that, did I? I taught it in other walkthroughs, but not this one. Slip behind the ice and get out of here. Oh wait, actually, I was gonna say, I, mean, I was gonna, I should have went to maybe down the lower path, as it might, might have been faster, but I don't know, because I would have had to do some sliding and probably rapid jumping and stuff like that. 
Anyway, Moon Shards in the Cold Room is completed. I don't think there's anything else here, but maybe, just maybe, I should do this. Just to see if there's any, anything peeking out around anywhere suspiciously high or low or anything like that. And also, probably make the viewers dizzy. Nah, it looks like we're good. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Now I'm gonna go... I let go of the analog stick too early there. <laughs> Wait, wait, what? Okay, you cannot enter. Oh, I was gonna say, thought you had some different dialogue there. Okay, there's still more to collect down this route over here. Because if you go onto these, there's purple coins up on top of these, I thought. Maybe it's just regular coins on it. Oh, maybe it's just regular coins, okay. Uh, there's purple coins somewhere along this route, I'm sure of it. <laughs> I, I assure you. Or at least I think there were. I don't know, I could be confusing them for coins or something. Snow here, obviously, so you just go right directly through it. Let's clear this all out just for the fun of it. Actually, it's not just for the fun of it, because I think there's actually, yeah, ground pound here. There's a moon. And shivering, I mean, shining in the snow in town. I don't know why I said shivering. Maybe because of all the coldness, and this is called shivery hour, you know. <laughs> I want to destroy all the snow and Puyo Pop! Yes! All clear bonus! And there's also more snow, so it's not an all clear bonus just yet. There's also another thing hidden behind here. Do, 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 do. It's another pathway. It's like a whole uh, little section up, up through here, but I think there's actually something... I thought there was something hidden behind these lantern things in the walls. Uh, maybe it's not there, maybe it's somewhere else. Well, there's this for sure. <laughs> yeah! Shivery and treasure chest. They're, we took their treasure away from them. Should we have done that? Well, it happened. And Mario is just like, eh, eh, he'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I thought there were purple coins up here. Dang it, is my memory failing me again? Because <laughs> I could have swore that there was a little bit of... Like a little alcove or something. Or maybe it was along the path with the... Uh, Bounder man that we take control of. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I guess I can go down. It's easy enough to go down there now that we've got this whole thing all open up and stuff like that. So let's go. I was also gonna show you a little glitch down here. Assuming that I can pull it off, it'll always lead you to eventual death or something like that, or you just have to warp out of there or something like that, but uh, I'll, I'll show you that when I get back to it. But Yeah, I thought that there was like a little lantern cubby hole that contained said purple coins somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I could show you the glitch now. Uh, so basically what you do is you go up to around here. Actually, no, I think it's around, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, I guess it, maybe it was this ledge over here, but basically what you're supposed to do is bounce high and hard, rhythmically, between this and the upper pillar there, and then jump out of your bounder when you reach the peak of your jump. Ah, mm. oh, I couldn't do it, I wasn't, I was too close to it. Ah, mm. oh, man. I hope they didn't patch this, and I'm trying this for nothing. But basically, you can get outside this glass wall here, and, and and you can actually walk around in there with all the peeps and stuff like that, but it's completely useless, because you're not supposed to be able to go in there. But I just, I kind of do want to show this. You know, maybe I'll come back to it. Well, actually, no, 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 hold on. I'm gonna go take you around, because maybe I need you for the other area. Because that, I can't get you through the door! <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, fine, fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna peek around the area and see what I can find. I know I got the stuff behind there, but... Wasn't there something up in this area? Or maybe there is post-game or something? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there was something in there for sure, though. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm looking specifically at those lanterns, because I could have swore there was a little opening in one that allowed me to actually walk inside them. Oh, no, no, I want, I want all! I want all! <laughs> I'm, I'm peeking my eyes left and right here, by the way. Yeah, hmm. I did the loop-de-loop. -loop. 
I don't know where I'm missing the last purple coins, but then again, I didn't know how I was missing them that last time, too, so... <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll re-grab you and try for that glitch again. <laughs> Here we go. It's it's very tricky to do, but once you get it, you'll be able to probably repeat it relatively consistently. Ah! <laughs> I just need to get myself like right in between the glass and the wood beam. Mm! Yes, I got it. They didn't patch it. <laughs> And this, this floor acts like quicksand. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Yeah! <laughs> and you can go right be right through these guys because you don't have any collision detection. As this, this is, as I said, not a design, a place you're not designed to actually get to. I'm not sure how far you can actually take this. Though, because you eventually come across, like, a, a like a falling invisible, well, not... Well, you, like, you, like, fall through the floor or something like that, so I'm not sure how far you can actually get on this. Uh, but I'll try and get myself... Oh, I made it to here. <laughs> but how far can I, can I take this? Can I take it through the bounders? Can I... And beyond? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I can... Like, how far I can follow this around the track, but... Yeah, this is an interesting little thing that you can do. Uh, obviously you need to kind of jump your way through this, and maybe even dive your way through this. <laughs> how, do, how far does this go until you reach the invi- uh, you f fall through floor where there's no collision detection anyway- Oh, there it is! <laughs> and then it just kind of poops you back over to where you're safe here, so yeah, if you want to try that, it's- it's tricky to do, but you can do it. Just bound yourself at maximum speed. Up where that, up between this that floor and that wall, because it, you know it gives you a good amount of height there. That's where I found. I think you can do it elsewhere too. It's just a matter of getting yourself out of that gap between the glass and the wood. I think via the momentum from him, you know, as you pop out of it, and then yeah, you just end up popping outside the windows. Then you're with them and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll explore that more later, but for now, I think I will go back up and out and keep looking around for those remaining purple coins. Oh, I didn't know there was dialogue there. <laughs> Wanna go to the race course? I, I was there. Uh, not in a way that they intended, but I was there. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, there might be a moon if I replay the race course. Like, I think there's a harder level to it. Unless it's a post-game thing. I could have swore there was a harder level to that, unless I'm thinking of something else. Well, I'll check that on my way back out. I'm just kind of going back through here really quick and checking lanterns and whatnot that I may have missed. Oh, there's a leaderboard. That's that's one thing, but <laughs> that's, not, that's, that's not what I came here for. I'm relieved that it's business as usual on the racing front. The Grand Prix for this race is a moon power moon. Okay, so yeah, there is another one there. Now, do you want to race or do you want to race? Cancel. Well, don't keep us waiting much longer. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. So yeah, there is another level to it. That was the sort of hint that it said, like... A rank or class A or something like that rank, but now there's a class S. More racers, more difficulty. Let's go! <laughs> and get ready to bound! So hopefully you've got your bounding mastered here because the maximizing of bounding must be done to win this one because it's a lot harder than the first one, let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, okay, okay, that turned out good. It turned out okay. And I'm gonna try and go in between those death traps there, speed traps. Oh, jeez. I hope they don't have rubber banding like Mario Kart. Mario Kart 64 was the absolute worst when it came to rubber banding. The worst! <laughs> the SNES one came pretty close, though, but... Oh, my God. If you ever played... Mario Kart N64, not even the world record holder can beat a rubber banding computer. <laughs> You've got to basically manipulate the AI to overtake them near the finish line at like the last moment. 
at least when it comes con to consistency. <laughs> nah, this didn't this didn't feel like rubber banding though. You would know rubber banding if you've seen it. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty pretty simple actually. Yeah, I just got used to uh bounding <laughs> just from playing it so much. Guess it wasn't a fluke. You're the real deal. Take this moon power moon! Woohoo! Snow line sick of classes. Oh, oh. The latest races have given me a what many a white knuckle. Am I uh natural? I guess you are. <laughs> uh, let's look here. Just to see what the poop is in the scoop. Uh -huh. One minute, one second. Yeah, I know that was kind of weak. But let's see what's at the tops of the tops. Must have taken me mega shortcuts. <laughs> shortcuts that I'm not even aware of or something, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to keep going with my search for the purples. For all I know, they're back by the surface. But I could have swore there was some... on the, Like, inside some sort of lantern area. Unless I'm thinking of some other kingdom. I don't know. But yes, you can actually knock out these fire, but they'll just cut reignite on you. <laughs> oh, there's a cat peach by this block over at the surface, but that's not really I'm going here. This is down below that painting. Hey, you guys have any any idea where the last purple coins are? Hey, don't fly! You're not supposed to be able to do that. Uh oh! How did I miss those? Well, there's three. Okay, so I guess I need you again. <laughs> really quick here. There we go. Yeah, this is on the first door on the left at the main lobby. I wonder if I missed some in the uh, other places, too. I'm gonna do this really quick just to get myself back to the beginning nice and quick and continue my search. Oh! Yeah, I just recognize this. This is down by the secret path to the moon in the second door from the left. There's 50 out of 50. Yeah, this was the place where I said was really well hidden with that little snow bank thing. Yeah, against the wall. Yup, yup, yup. So I guess we can now go back out of here and then buy the rest of the stuff that's in the purple coin shop. Because it's, well, relatively close, I guess. I think this is probably the fastest of the two ways to get there. Other than this, the suicide and go back method. But then there's still backtracking from the other door. So I thought, eh, I think warping this time would be a little bit faster. Okay. So, cannot believe I forgot those. I decided to recheck those areas because I was like, hmm, I checked everything else except those. I should say rechecked everything else except those. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, fine, I'll just, they're short, I'll just do a quick run through them really quick. And, sure enough, <laughs> last one is a nesting dolls, yeah. <laughs> and voila, 100% completion in the purple coin department. Let's go ahead and check out our odyssey, just really quick. And then I will obviously be ending off the part very shortly, because I cleaned this up, this place out pretty good. We got our carpet, we got those nesting dolls up top, which you can, I believe you can actually interact with. Yup. <laughs> Some of the stuff you can interact with, well actually all of it you can, but I mean not, not like in that manner where it actually transforms. It's usually just like a, a jiggle around of certain things and yeah. Yeah, so as for the stickers, do you get to see the sticker on the... There it is! We are all decked out and ready to go over to the next kingdom. Yeah, in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.